What's going on YouTube? We're back again just as promised. Um, like I mentioned in the last video, today we will be hopefully finishing up the custom exhaust that I'm doing. Um, previously the car had um, it had a true dual two and a half inch exhaust out the back with some Magnaflow mufflers and um, you know we started out with a 5.3 like five years ago or something like that at this point and what we had was good for that but now that we have the bigger engine um, I think you can actually see on the dyno chart where um, airflow starts to maybe be a factor and so um, that's why in the last video I mentioned the intake manifold but I definitely think the exhaust is a contributor to that fall off at the end so um, tough to kind of show you guys what we got going on because the car's up on jack stands and not super high off the ground and when you're under the car it's pretty tough to show you so I think what I'll do is I'll take apart everything and maybe try to lay it out in front of the house or something and show you kind of what we're working with I mean it's exhaust so it kind of is what it is but um, maybe it could help somebody else mess but I went ahead and pulled the exhaust out from under the car and just kind of laid it out in the other side of the garage so you can kind of see what I'm um, working with. So starting up here um, this is connecting to our cook headers. We got a three inch X pipe that I am pretty happy to say I made myself. Um, two vibrant uh, resonators and then it comes out to the back of the car just like that so pretty much what you'd expect I'm not exactly sure how loud it's going to be with just the vibrant uh, resonators but the idea is is got v-bands here to take the midsection out and then again um, v-bands in the back and what I was thinking is because Laguna Seca has um, the 90 decibel limit what we could do is build um, a kind of like muffled back half and basically we could remove these, run this at the racetracks that don't have a sound limit and then we could build and put in another muffler that's much quieter in the back. So kind of what we're working with. Everything right now is tacked up. I have a couple welds that I started like I said, I'm not a great welder. I actually decided to take this project on um, to try to teach myself how to TIG weld a little bit better. And um, luckily I have a buddy who is a professional welder and he's kind of given me a bunch of tips and tricks on um, what to do, how to do it. Um, but other than that, this is the equipment we're working with. Got a pretty decent little a band saw that helped a ton and then I just have the TIG 200 by Eastwood and then got the MIG 175 from Eastwood. Real quick before we move on to welding and getting the new exhaust installed I want to show you the old exhaust so I've gone ahead and mocked it up outside in the driveway. Um, this is the old exhaust it was done by a local exhaust shop um, wonderful price good people um, no complaints at all uh, like I said earlier this was for the 5.3 that we originally had so it's a two and a half inch true dual exhaust with uh, magna flow mufflers out the back and kind of what I think might be the big restrictor is they use a bender and at each of the bends it really limits and necks down the diameter of pipe and so maybe a little hard to tell on camera but it definitely has a bunch of pinch points along the way one thing I should note uh, before I 
get flamed in the comments for my welding is I am back purging with argon. And the other thing is, is I do not have a welding table. So unfortunately I'm welding on top of this stainless steel pan on top of my table saw. So not ideal conditions, but um, you gotta do what you gotta do. And that's what we do at Logan's Garage, so. For the first time in a long time, the car is out of the garage. Got a couple cameras set up, just hopefully I can capture what it actually sounds like. But all in all, this car has not been out of the garage in almost two years. So, quick walk around, and then we'll get right to it. All right, this is the first time that I'm hearing the exhaust start, so uh, it's gonna be a surprise for both of us. video off here super excited with how the exhaust came out um, it's the epitome of Logan's garage it is not perfectly symmetrical uh, but it does sound good and I think it's gonna perform awesome so um, in the next video we're gonna try to get the car up to a very hot idle um, and we're gonna try to figure out what valve we need for our oil accumulator so Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.